Hello everyone, welcome back as I am a ranting old man. So, do you all remember that, uh, the Verge video where the dude was supposedly putting together a gaming computer? But it turned out that, I mean, if you put it together like he put it together, it would probably burn down your house. Y'all remember that? Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, The Verge was owned by BuzzFeed, who I've said before is a garbage news organization. And they have to sell cookware just to keep going. They started copyright striking people that had made videos showing how dumb they were. And you know, as somebody that's thinking about going into law in like 10 years once I finish going through school and everything because I'm old and stupid and I've decided it's probably a great time for a new career. Basically, I want a career where I can spend more time with my son, because my son's like six, seven. <laughs> well, seven a couple of days. But, anyway. So, someone is thinking about going through law, and looking at this. It's like, what the hell are you doing? You don't use the copyright strike because someone hurt your feelings. You use it because somebody took... What is yours? Put it up unedited, unchanged, and I'm making money off it. Sure, a lot. The pro I think one of the biggest problems is a lot of the re videos where they were reviewing and looking at these people that, and they were showing what the version did wrong and basically making jokes of them because, I mean, what dude used half a freaking tube of compound paste. For the freaking, for the freaking CPU, and it's just like, that's not right. And then had to basically make a little correction afterwards in the freaking, um, oh Jesus, what's it called? The description. Sorry, it's been a long day. It's been a long day. It was like minus. 30 this morning with the wind chill. But now it's not so bad. Now it's like, I don't know, maybe it's like minus three. Because that doesn't see me much wind. So, that took it out of me this day. Look, too much shoveling, too much shit. But, anyway, as I was saying, the views that these places, that the, uh, that the videos got that were reviewing the Verge's PC build. Basically, to a point, I think some of them tripled or quadrupled. And the only reason that people actually watched the BuzzFeed one was to see how bad it was. And that's the problem. Is BuzzFeed got so butthurt because they made something that really was garbage. And they got called out on it. And because they got called out on it, they're like, oh, but... But you can't do that. You can't make more money than us off something we made, even though you are totally within fair use and... Yeah. No, we want the money for it. And it's been long enough that we think that we can probably throw copyright strikes out and nobody's really going to care because if they had done this like in the first well the first month of that video going live and all the freaking reviews of it going live there would have been hell to pay but instead they waited long enough and then all of a sudden they're just like nope hey Linus text tips And I mean, it was Linus text tips. Were they? <laughs> and um, it was Linus text tips and unboxing USA. I think. Were the, well, those are the two big ones I've seen. Or well, two of the ones that have come out and said publicly, yes, it. 
Yes, it's true. And, I mean, they're, they're two of the biggest freaking tech things on the internet. And the thing is, they don't even have a political bias. If they had a political bias... If they had a political bias where they were actively on the right and actively calling out the race or sexuality or whatever it is of the guy that was on there, I would say have at it. I would say those copyrights, are, those copyright strikes are no problem. But if you're just going after people because you're butthurt, and because, oh my god, the comment may be sad. That's just being stupid. And all it is, is showing once again why YouTube, why YouTube's copyright strike system is a big load of BS. I had a gaming channel. I still do have a gaming channel, I just got tired of the BS. But... I got hit with three copyright strikes. Three copyright strikes. And it was like, what did I do? One of them was a vlog like this. One of them was literally a vlog like this. And they tried to say that there was music in the background. It's like there's no music in the background. There was no music in the background. The radio off like I do now. But then they're like, yes, there was music in the background for three seconds. And this person doesn't want the music used in your vlog. Okay, hey, I think it was a vlog about pineapple on pizza too. Because that's right political. But anyway... So after dealing with the copyright strike system there, and the various copyrights of straight up, bam, somebody claims it, you basically lose everything to it. You can try and take out the music if you want, but even that doesn't work half the time. Or you just end up with a weird silence. Um, but yeah. The, copy, the copyright strike system is broken because it allows stuff like that to happen. And unless you actually have, unless you actually counterclaim, you're done. But anyway, that's it for now. Probably talk more about it tomorrow. Maybe. If you like what you see, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I ramble, and I ramble in so many directions at once, it is not funny. So have a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.